Welcome to what is two-factor authentication and how to set up for Binance PC and mobile. There are a huge number of methods for hacking and circumventing password authentication. So two-factor authentication is essential to your account security. What is two-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication is when you protect your account with two factors or locks. A factor is split into three categories. The first being the user's knowledge, like a password. The second being something the user owns, like a phone with an app on it that can authenticate the user. And the third being the user's biometric traits, like a fingerprint. To truly be protected by two-factor authentication, your account must require two locks of different factors before granting access. The two main factors used by Binance is a password, as well as either an SMS authenticator or Google authenticator through your phone. Let's talk about the difference between the two. SMS authenticator. What is it? When creating an account, you provide your mobile phone number. Whenever you want to log in, the server sends you an SMS message with a verification code that expires. You have to input that number to complete the logging in process. The pros. It's extremely convenient, readily available, and quick and easy to use. Although, since mobile phone numbers aren't actually tied to devices, hackers can actually circumvent SMS-based authentication without ever touching your phone, though it is not easy. Another downfall is that you need phone reception whenever you plan to use it. Now Google Authenticator. What is it? When you create an account, you're assigned a secret key, then generates one-time passwords every 20 seconds using the secret key as a seed, and you need these one-time passwords to log in. The pros. It has good encryption. The codes are generated based on a mixture of the secret key and the current time, which means you can get valid codes on your device even when you have no reception and no mobile service. And since the secret key is stored on the device itself, it can't get intercepted by hackers. The cons, you can't lose the secret key. The secret key is what you need to deactivate Google Authenticator on your account in case you lose your phone with the app on it. Okay, now let's look at how to set up these two authenticators for your account on Binance. So let's start off the SMS authenticator. You want to set over to your account page and then go to SMS authentication and start the enabling process. Now you'll need to enter your phone number, phone number with the country with the country code you're from. So once you've entered that number, you want to send the SMS. This SMS will then come through to your phone almost instantly, and then it will look something like this. Into this box and submit. And now SMS authentication is set up for your Binance account. So whenever you log in, you will then be sent an SMS authentication code, and you have to input that number. How to enable Google authentication. If you want to click enable on your account homepage. Now you want to download and install the Google authentication app. Once you've done that, your phone should then look something like this. Now you want to hit begin and scan the QR code given to you by Binance. Now with that added, you can go to the next step. This is your backup key. You need to keep this backup key on pa paper as this will allow you to recover your Google authentication in case of phone loss. So make sure you write this down and make copies of it so you don't lose it. Now you'll be able to go to the next step again. And now ask for your login password. It's just your normal password to your account. And your Google authenticator code. No space in between the two Google Authenticator numbers. Enable Google Authentication. Now, Google Authentication is enabled on your account. You'll be able to use a Google Authentication code to log into your account. Now, for Binance Mobile. So, set up your account. You want to go to your account page. From here, you want to go to Security. And here is your options for your authenticators. Now, you have your standard Google Authenticator and SMS Authenticator down the bottom. These are the exact same setup as you did on the PC, so I'd highly recommend doing one of them, or even both. Now you also have the option of Touch ID, which is your fingerprint, and also a pattern, which is the simple pattern you can set up to secure your account. Although it's technically the same as a password, so you're not truly be protected by two-factor authentication like you want to be. Now you know exactly how to set up two-factor for your account, and exactly what it is. So I'd highly recommend you go do that for your account to really secure 
your account and keep it safe. Happy trading and thanks for watching.